Today I will be discussing on uh, forest fire studies by FSI, but related to real time monitoring of fires and uh, uh, an exercise on near real time burnt area assessment uh, for identifying the potential burnt areas on the ground. And uh, study recently initiated by FSI for uh, early warning interaction of fires, like it is uh, some sort of pre warning alert system similar to what we have in the course of droughts. Here are some of the outlines I will be discussing. Next, please. Uh, before starting, because the forest cover, which is uh, one of the uh, uh, one of the natural source in the country, that is one of the important component where the forest fires occur. So, a uh, little bit I will discuss on how we are using uh, the satellite remote sensing technology for forest cover mapping at national level. So, this is the uh, uh, you can see the tableau statement where we are using this data for the last uh, few years, starting from year 1987, and I recently in December 2015 we have come with the latest. A statistics for forest cover the country in year 2015. Next please. So these are some of the density classes uh, that we have identified and based on that we are classifying the satellite data for different density classes. This gives us a picture of the different forest cover classes. And based on, uh, you see in the left we have the list three data uh, based on the different classification methods that we use. We have classified the entire country into different forest density classes. This is going to be used one of the major classes for forest fire burn deer assessment. Similarly, based on the data we have and using other ancillary data also we have uh, identified the different forest types at national level. So, these two pictures give you uh, how we have used uh, satellite data for uh, identification of the forest cover and forest type at national level. Now, coming to forest fire studies, FSI has been in this area for last few years and recently we initiated the exercise with NRC under a collaborative program for real time monitoring of forest fires at national level. So, if you talk of this, some of the statistics uh, based on studies by MOEF and other organizations, we have around 55 percent of India's forest prone to fires and a study carried out in the, uh, we have initially uh, two major outbreaks of fires in 1995 and 99. So, I uh, study in 1999 uh, uh, carried out for state of Uttarakhand using this data indicates around 23 percent of fires reported to be in the state. So, for that we need to have some suitable measures for cutting the effect of fires. So, these are some of the facts which have been collected based on the forest inventory data by FSI. So, based on these parameters, we initiated certain uh, objectives uh, why we need a forest fire monitoring system and a burnt air assessment for the country. So, uh, 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 a real time burnt air assessment already has been enforced in collaboration with NRC and uh, an exercise for Maharashtra one initiated in 2014. So, let us talk of real time monitoring because most of these components would be coming from this exercise. This is an exercise initiated by FSI in collaboration with RC. We are getting the data, doing processing and finally value addition. So, this is the type of picture every day you can get on the website in the FSI portal wherein we have the forest cover layer and overlaid over it we have the fire points. So, this is the method how we are detecting. This is the way uh, we are doing the value addition to each fire point which is being disseminated to the nodal officer. So, this is uh, gives you the picture at national level the forest fire reported uh, across the country and uh, what has been the scenario of the forest fire points reported year wise. Now, this is just the component how we have initiated this program with the state forest department uh, like getting the signal, processing it, doing value addition and finally disseminate to the state nodal officer for forest fire. So, every state nowadays has a nodal officer who gets the forest fire points either a shape file or as KMLs and we have developed an online feedback mechanism also wherein the fire point which has been welded on the ground can be received back to an online mechanism. So, this is the type of uh, like we have nowadays more than 10,000 registered users across the country who are getting the SMS alerts on forest fires. So, this is the way we are doing now. This is the type of mechanism on a mobile set you are getting the number of forest fire reported and for details you can go to FSI website. Now, this is the data flow we are getting the singles process fire points from NRC. We are doing further processing, doing lot of value addition and sending it to a state nodal officer. Now, from nodal officer it is going to a divisional forest officers and to the range officers. Now, the feedback mechanism from the nodal officer, the point they have visited, it uh, goes back to the nodal officer and from there to the side. So, in this way we are collecting the online uh, feedback points also uh, which has been collected from the ground. So, these are all the KMS we can see here. Now, straight away coming to the real time monitoring. Now, this is another step point we have uh, like once we get the fire point we convert into KML and send as a KML to the fire forest department. So, interesting with every fire point we are getting the 
uh, this much of details which gives you the topo sheet number also along with the fire point. Besides, every forest boundary has been converted into KML. So, like if a particular nodal officer goes to identify the particular B, he can just click on that fire point and he can come to know that this is the area, this is the block or the beat where the fire has been reported. So, this is the online feedback form, like the points which can be sent to the nodal, nodal officer. He can just uh, go to this particular fire point and if he gets a information from the ground staff that it is a fire, he can toggle yes and the ocular estimation of the burnt area he can report. This is an online feedback form. Once he fills up this form, he automatically reaches to FSI. So, this is the type of mechanism we have developed so that uh, we get all the information about the validated fire points. So, this is the type of information reported. Now, we have tried to automate this process because uh, in certain points we have to, we have to wait for like the next working day. So, based on uh, this script, we have tried to uh, automate this system so that uh, fire points when reaches to our mailbox, it is being processed and this is the concerned state department. Now, let us come to real time burnt assessment. These are some of the objectives uh, for near real time burnt assessment because no such study was ever reported at national level. Uh, objective was to uh, create a uh, near real time burnt area map for the entire country besides going for pre warning alert system so that prior to occurrence of fires we can report exactly what are the locations at different landscape level where the fire could be, uh, where can happen. So, based on that, we initiated the exercise and uh, here are some of the objectives we can. Now, these are the occurrence of fires reported between 2014. Now, this is the forest fire density occurrence. This is very going to be very important for intending a particular area we have seen. So, this is uh, the area like based on this type of information, uh, based on the density of the forest fire occurrences, we identify the suitable uh, area we have seen. So, these are some of the methods uh, like in the 2015, we have identified these number area we have seen, we have uh, indented this data and classified this data sets. So, at the national level, you can see this is the coverage of the data where we find most of the fires to be reported. So, this is the broad methodology where we have carried out this exercise of a near real time burnt area mapping. Now, we also use the temperature data from IMD because not only we have to identify the fire points, we have to identify the scenes based on the fire points, but we have to look for the temperature and other, other parameters which could be helpful in identification of the suitable scene. So, these layers are also been used. Now, once the fire point has been reported, it has to be further validated. So, we are also taking the help of Google Earth also in identification of particular burnt scar. So, once the point has been identified, we go for this mapping based on different severity indices, whether it is a low burnt area or a moderately burnt area. And estimation of the area has also been carried out. Now, in this picture, you can see that we have two, uh, two images and uh, we have tried to identify the active fire location and the uh, burnt area, the, like the fire is extinguished in that area. So, based on that, we have uh, tried to identify the exact area burnt on account of fire. So, these two pictures give you the active fire locations where the fire has been reported and where the fire has extinguished. This was case study for Maharashtra. We started the exercise in 2014 on the request of Maharashtra government for burnt area assessment for the state. So, for identification of suitable images for carrying out this exercise, we took the help of uh, both the MODIS uh, points from web, uh, web fire mapper service and NRC fire points and based on the consultation of fire points, we went for uh, indenting the data. Further, the forest boundaries at uh, beat and compartment level were overlaid and so, so that we can identify the exact uh, range or beat where the fire has been reported. So, burnt scars could be seen here. Once the scars have been reported, they have been classified. So, this uh, gives you the picture where uh, the fires have been reported in Maharashtra, some of the few districts and the different severity burnt areas. This is the feedback from Maharashtra Forest Department of the 291 finds that were sent for validation. We received information about 279 points. So, PR exactly stands for the offense where there has been reported. Means it has been a fire, either man made or through some. Uh, other uh, mechanism, but it has been a fire. So, this is the type of information we have received and it uh, almost of the 291 fire points, we have around 200, more than 270 points where the fire has been reported. So, uh, if you talk of uh, the outcomes of the burnt area assessment study at national level, definitely uh, this type of map at national level would give you a picture where actually the uh, most severe cases of fires has been reported and to what severity indices we can expect from a particular area. So, these are some of the interim observations. We are going for finalization report to be submitted to Ministry of Environment Forest. So, 
these are some of the states and the regions where fire has been reported on a larger extent and uh, what has been the regions. Besides, we have also tried to identify the fires reported within the recorded forest area, which is actually under the control of the government. So, based on that, we have tried to identify what actually has been the forest fire occurrences within the green wash area or the RFS. And besides, equally important is the forest type, which is responsible factor for forest fire, fire burned areas. So, based on the forest type map of the uh, country by FSI, we have tried to identify the species which are more vulnerable to fires. So that has also been reported in this exercise. Now just we quickly look after the pre-warning system that we are thinking of initiating uh, this year. So uh, various factors like the leaf stress condition, loss of leaf moisture may be one of the contributing factors apart from the forest type for a uh, particular area to be designated as more, uh, more alarming compared to other areas. So some of the parameters which have been identified for uh, pre-warning alert system are uh, listed here. One of the important component is the field inventory data, which is actually the data collected by FSI field inventory parties for uh, forest fires. So uh, like uh, these are some of the methodology components being used, there are some of the indices that we identified for identification of these area, the methodology. This gives the execution plan for pre-warning alert system. Apart from the reference data, we will using uh, the different uh, parameters, filtration using FSI forest cover layer, then identification of suitable data, then going for specialization, comparison of, because it is a time series data analysis from AVIFs, so we are taking into account different ratio indices and finally coming up with the areas where we have higher concentration of burnt areas. So this is the script we are going to develop and finally uh, based on that we will identify the fire prone areas at national level. So this is the diagram modeler, you can see that once we identified a particular area, we will go for buffering of the area. So we have to identify actually the forest types because that is the only layer we have. Based on that, we can identify the coverage and the actual scenes which are to be mapped using for burnt areas. So based on that, you can see that uh, once the temperature points have been identified, we go for the forest type map class and finally based on that, once the forest type being identified, we will go for identification of the total number of scenes. So this is the IMD data, we can see temperature is again going to be one of the important components. So based on this point information, we have generated this map at national level. So again, this will be helpful in identification of the suitable data for uh, burnt area mapping. Again, this uh, rainfall data again would be very impo uh, important. So we will be using not only the remote sensing data, but the other entry data and trying to use in a composite method, data method so that we can get a more realistic picture of the ground. So this is uh, just the analysis of the images. So thank you very much.